Hey guys, sorry for the delay, but it's Tasha back with another video. And today, I'll start to tell you the story of how we bought a house that looked like this, and we were able to transform it into this. There's still so much left to do, but enough has been done that I think I'm ready to start sharing the story with you. So let's start at the beginning. All right, so in the fall of 2022, I saw this house on the market and I was like, yo, there's so much potential here. There is a main house, which we are living in, um, and then there's an attached in-law suite, kind of like a back unit type of setup. The most appealing fact was that it was across the street from a train station that goes to Philly, and then also down the street from a hospital and a medical school. Like when I say down the street, I mean less than half a mile. We figured we could go ahead and convert the back unit into a midterm rental and cater to travel nurses and other medical professionals. The front house is three bedrooms. Well, it was three bedrooms and three baths. And one of the bedrooms and bathrooms is downstairs. So this was especially appealing um, as an accessible place for my mom. We had previously all been crammed into one side of our duplex the year before, so it was time to have more space for each of us. We paid someone to gut and update the bathroom because, I mean, look at this vanity. Look at this. This is horrible. But uh, we were able to update it to this. Also, there was some really old carpet everywhere, and the previous owners were smokers. So we had to take care of all of that ASAP. We had to rip everything out. At the same time, there was the big issue of the spiral staircase death trap. The railings were spaced way too far apart, so kiddos could definitely fall through easily, and it was just an overall wobbly structure. I initially was trying to see if a welding company could come out and reinforce it, maybe add some more railings, but no one would touch it. They were like, nah, we didn't do that. We're not messing with that. So uh, we ended up getting it removed and we hired people to come in and design a custom staircase. That was a whole thing. Uh, I definitely learned a lot about what goes into getting a staircase quote. And uh, after we picked a contractor, we realized that the quote they gave us was just for the unfinished staircase and without railings. It was a whole thing. So after they did the base staircase, we parted ways and I found someone else who could finish it. And I was able to kind of customize it a bit more. So we have, uh, we're instead of it being just an enclosed wall uh, everywhere, we were able to have some see-through parts so you can see those railings. We were able to add that after the fact. We could not move in until we got the stairs done. So yeah, we really had to wait until this was all good. I then proceeded to work on the downstairs bedroom and get it painted for my mom. Initially, the kiddos would stay with her uh, as my plan was to convert the upstairs third bedroom into two smaller bedrooms, one for each kid. If you haven't seen that video of me splitting a bedroom, upstairs bedroom into two bedrooms, you can check it out here. And I'm gonna say it's pretty cool because I made walls. <laughs> as for the master bedroom, because we had taken out all the old fugly carpet we did not have a place to sleep yet so like I said earlier we initially camped out in the living room yes our bed was in the living room for a good month <laughs> um, until I was able to lay the flooring upstairs laying LVP is not that bad that's luxury vinyl plank um, it was not bad at all uh, and I was able to use this opportunity to get decent at it it was the next step in the evolution of my DIY journey okay but while we were still sleeping downstairs, I, I was like, I need to paint these walls because again, they was they was ugly. Uh, initially, there was diagonal wooden trim, but when I had people remove the carpet, I asked them also to remove the middle pieces, the diagonal pieces, so that we could kind of do a board and batten with the rest of the trim that pre-existed. And then I painted, and I painted, and I painted. <laughs> Basically, the dark stained wooden trim just kept absorbing the paint and turning it yellow. I realized in retrospect uh, that I needed an oil-based primer for the trim because regular primer was not cutting it. The, the regular primer was fine for the panels, the MDF panels that I also had to paint over, um, as well as the regular walls, but oil-based primer would have helped me tremendously for the actual wooden trim. 
because I'm pretty sure there was like a total of four layers of primer and paint just to get this trim white. But it's okay. I learned something new. Have you guys ever painted your own home? If so, are you team roller or team sprayer? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so finally, once I got the flooring laid down for our room, we were able to move out of the living room and that was a sweet relief. But I think by this point in our real estate journey and perhaps in life in general, we have already become comfortable with discomfort because there, there's a greater purpose. But you really have to remember your purpose every day. You have to remember your why so that when things get tough, you continue to move on. It's been over a year since we moved in and I have so much more to tell you, but I guess uh, for now, I'll just leave it at um, we learned so much along the way so far. It's been rough at times, but I'm so glad that we decided to take on this project. I'm so glad that we have this house to learn all these skills in, and I'm so glad I get to share it with you. Uh, what's nice is, you know, we have a decent living area now and everyone who should have their own room does have their own room. We were able to convert this main house into uh, four bedrooms. We're still in the never ending process of decluttering, but I'm happy with where we are at now. I mean, I don't get a headache when I come home because the amount of things we have is manageable and everything has a place. I just need to find time to work on the other two bathrooms and on our kitchen. But our main goal right now is to get the back unit up and running. So um, that's what we're going to focus on now. I hope you'll stay tuned for more. Thanks always for watching. Talk to you next time. Bye.